Welcome. Welcome into the final game of the group stage in the FIBA Africa Women's Basketball League. It's a new name, but the same tough competition as an exciting matchup between two unbeaten teams in Group A is coming up very shortly. Alexandria Sporting Club and Kenya Port Authority face off and are looking to finish top of Group A, positioning themselves well as we head into the tournament rounds starting on Sunday. Caroline Bullock here with you throughout today's game and we're due to tip off very, very shortly. But before we do, let's take a look at how these two teams match up. So Sporting, hosts of the competition, a lot of hometown support out in Alexandria. They were the winners of last year's Africa Champions Cup, currently sitting at 3-0 and off the back of a huge 96-57 win against Customs yesterday. They were led by their captain and last year's MVP, Hagar Amir. She had 26 points, 11 rebounds and 3 assists, along with 4 steals in that game. She's been leading the team in points per game with 21.7 and 9.7 rebounds alongside that. And also, make sure to look out for Destiny Pitts. She had 16 in yesterday's game. She's a lights-out shooter from three, leading the tournament in three-point percentage. And she's going to be a problem from behind the arc for KPA today. Alongside her is Fatou Diagne, she had 11 rebounds in yesterday's game alongside 16 points, four on the offensive side. They're a force to be reckoned with and it's going to be a tough challenge to finish unbeaten but standing in their way is KPA. A team also at 3-0, played yesterday against Douala, winning that one 74-59. Victoria Reynolds continues her impressive run throughout the tournament. 24 points, 8 rebounds and 7 assists for her. Hitting 4 of 9 from behind the arc. And a player to look out for if you have not seen her before. Medina Okot, 19 years old at 6 foot 6. She is a special talent and an exciting young player. Eight points, 11 rebounds, and a huge four blocks in the game yesterday. And definitely someone to keep an eye on if you have not seen her play before. So teams coming onto court. It is Sporting in white today. And Ken Kenya Port Authority playing in blue. So for the tip. It will be Diagne and Ocott. As we look to get the last game of the group stages underway. The ball is up and it's KPA with the first possession. Good ball movement round here. It's KPA drive to the basket. It's stolen away and picked off there by Sporting. There's a long pass over. Great look inside, but it's picked off by Ocott. And that's the problem she's going to cause with that wingspan. She can pick off those passes as KPA get onto the scoreboard. First two points of the game for them. Balls up, and that is good. Big three for Sporting. Reynolds. She's been huge for KPA. Nice pass inside. Can't finish underneath the basket. And KPA with a chance to go ahead here as Dillard, driving all the way, hands it off. Nice pass. And Diagne... Gets that one to go. 
Early lead for Sporting here in the first. Reynolds driving the baseline. She's blocked on that possession and Sporting come up with it. And Diagne all alone underneath the basket. She's going to cause you problems if you're going to leave her open. Reynolds finds some space. Going inside against Diagne. Tries to step back. Shot doesn't go. And an offensive board for KPA. Ocott from the elbow knocks it down. Pitts, she's doubled underneath the basket, kicks it out. Dillard's shot doesn't go. An offensive board though for Sporting and they put it back in. And as I mentioned before, those second chance points, so, so crucial. So we've got a whistle on the floor. Reem Muasa checking in for Bakar. Wangale for three. That one's no good. And Okot dives in for the rebound, kicks it out to Reynolds. She's going to try a three. That one doesn't go, and it's rebound Diagne for Sporting. And Sporting net the three at the other end. They're out to a hot start here in the third quarter. Reynolds looking to drive the baseline. Layup's good, and she draws the contact. She's going to head to the free, free throw line. That foul is on Pitts. That's her first personal. And Reynolds at the line for a chance at a three-point play. Shot doesn't go. Sporting, that shot doesn't go. But we've got a whistle on the play. And it's a foul on KPA. So sporting ball from the end line. That's on Pierre. That's her first. Ball's in. Nice pass outside. Behind the arc. Pass in. It's knocked away. KPA coming back on the attack, driving all the way to the basket. Shots no good, but Akumu draws the foul. Okay, Akumu shooting two from the line. First one just rolls out. Second, bounces off the rim. It's Ocott with the rebound and puts it back in. She's got that nice short jumper. And she's had a couple of those in the game so far today. She's going to need to keep that up. The KPA. Wangale, round to Reynolds. She finds some space but kicks it out. And it's Sporting that come up with the offensive board. As Dillard drives to the basket, draws the contact. And Dillard is going to head to the free throw line.
A 12-8 lead for Sporting here early on. Got just under six minutes to play in the first quarter. This is the final game of the group stages before the teams head into the knockout rounds on Sunday. As Dillard knocks down the first free throw and the second two of two from the line. Increases Sporting's lead up to 14 to eight. Ungale driving to the basket, shots just short. And a great offensive rebound and put back there for Samazeku. And it's intercepted. KPA doing a good job of coming up with the ball, forcing the turnovers. As Yango lays it in. And KPA going on a nice little run here. Is a double dribble call. So KPA with the ball back and a chance to tie or take the lead. Long twos up, no good. Dillard trying to break free. Nice pass. And hands that over to Diagne, who just lays it in underneath the basket. She's got six points in the game so far. Mongale looking for some help. Reynolds is there. Kicks it out for a corner three. Doesn't drop. Dillard with a long pass over to Musa. Can't quite get a hold of it and that is going to go out of bounds as she tries to save it so it'll be back with KPA just a four point lead for Sporting here in the first quarter as the ball's Picked up by Pitts. Round to Dillard. Dillard pulls up for three and knocks it down. Bannister into the game for the first time. Back to Reynolds. Shot doesn't go. Oh, Cots there for the rebound. Can't finish. And Musa coming up for Sporting. You can see her pointing to where she wants to pass off to. And Dillard goes behind the back. But Amir can't finish. And it's KPA ball. Intercepted. And Pitts with another steal as Musa. Tries the short jumper and just a bit too strong. As Amir draws the foul and goes to the line after making the basket. Tough play underneath the basket from Haga Amir. And that foul is on Onyango. We'll have a substitution for KPA as Natalie Wangale checks out. And Aminata Samaseku is back in. Free throw is good. Three point play completed, and that takes the score to 22 to 12. A 10 point lead for Sporting here, as we will have a timeout called by KPA. So thank you to everyone watching here on the FIBA Basketball YouTube channel. Make sure to like and subscribe. You can stay up to date with all the action from the competition as we head into the final stages. The knockouts start on Sunday, the quarterfinals, 
And then the semi-finals on Monday and the finals on Tuesday. You can stay up to date with all the action right here on YouTube. And follow along on the FIBA social media for highlights from the tournament. Teams back on court. It's KPA ball. Down at 10 here in the first. And they did have a slow start earlier in the week against CNSS in the first quarter. They adjusted well in the second and able to finish with the win in that one. So let's see how they can adjust here. And it's Pitts with another steal for Sporting. That will be a foul on KPA. That's on Bannister. Dillard using the screen from Diagne. Spins, kicks it out. Pitts puts up the three. Nails it. Sporting are a very dangerous team from behind the arc. Samaseku can't get that layup to go. Great pass underneath the basket. And Diagne just drops it in. Eight points for her so far. Bannister looking for some help. Ocott. Kicks it down and it's stolen away. Bacard driving all the way to the basket, tries to pass it out. Dillard kicks it out to the three-point line and that's good. Sporting putting on a three-point clinic today. An 18-point lead here early on. KP, A can't answer. Caught with the rebound, hands it off. If you KPA here, you need to just take your time. No need to rush any shots. It's early on in the game. Lots of time to bring this back. A deep three doesn't drop. Pitts going all the way, kicks it out. Short jumper, no good. And it's Amer working hard underneath the basket, getting the offensive rebound. Can't put it back in. But ball is going to stay with Sporting. As Belinda Okoth into the game, and Medina Okoth is going to take a seat for KPA. Diagne heading to the bench, and Abdelalim in for Sporting. Dillard on the end line. Gets it in and KPA just telling the ref, just telling KPA they need to give a little bit more space on the inbound pass. That's Lavanda as Dillard will inbound again. Just got to give a bit of space to the inbounder because they have no room to move back due to the boards you can see there. Pitts, catch and shoot three. It's good. Destiny Pitts. She's got 15 points so far. We're in the first quarter. She's going to try another three. Nails it. Back to back threes for Destiny Pitts. She's got 18 so far. She's been averaging 16.3 in the tournament. She's broken that already in the first quarter. 
Sporting coming out in dominant fashion here in the first quarter. As the ball is knocked away, last touch KPA. Apologies, last touch Sporting, so it will stay with KPA. Twenty seconds to go here in the first quarter. Catch and shoot three. It's up, too short. And Sporting can hold for the last shot here in the first. It's stolen away. Bannister driving to the basket, up and under. No good, but there's a foul called. And Antoinette Bannister will head to the line for a couple. Bannister shooting a 66.7% from the stripe so far. A player with a lot of experience, having played out in Albania, Mexico and Portugal before joining KPA. As the first free throw is good. And that puts an end to the scoring drought for KPA. Second shot goes for Bannister, two of two from the line. Thirteen seconds to go in the quarter. Dillard surveying. Looks to go inside, kicks it out, threes up, and that is good. Amer with another huge three for Sporting. And that will do it for the end of the first quarter. Sporting 39, KPA 14, a huge first quarter. A statement being made here from Sporting. And leading the way. Leading the way in points is Destiny Pitch. She has 15. having hit five of six from behind the arc. An efficiency of 18 in the game so far. She has been huge for Sporting, a big part of why they're up so much here in the first quarter. Diagne with eight points, five rebounds and assists as well for Sporting. And for KPA, spreading the scoring around a little bit. Onyango with four points. And three rebounds. And Okot has four. Along with four rebounds. So let us know in the comments, where are you watching this game from? We know there's a lot of fans in Alexandria supporting Sporting. We've got some KPA fans out there in the live chat. Let us know where you're watching from and make sure to like and subscribe to the FIBA Basketball YouTube channel. Sporting currently shooting a huge 8 of 12 from 3, 66%. That has been the real difference maker for them so far in today's game. With KPA yet to hit from behind the arc. So the second quarter about to get underway. Dillard with the ball for Sporting. Passes out. Threes up off the front of the rim. Rebound KPA. And it's Wangale. Gets the ball back. Looks to pass it inside to Ocott. Ocott, nice handoff. KPA blocked just underneath the basket as Akumu can't get that shot to go. 
Dillard draws the foul. That's on Okumu. Sideline ball for Sporting. See the ball movement here from Sporting. They're passing it around. They've got some good looks, but they're moving the ball around to try and get that great look. Very, very unselfish play here. And showing why they are just such a tough team to come up against. As they get the ball back on the end line. Dillard tries a three and gets it to go. Long two, it doesn't go for KPA. Struggling to get some points on the board here. And that pass is picked up by Dillard. Nice no-look pass there to a teammate. Can't quite finish. What a pass from Dillard. They're the ones that you want to see people finish. So you can see it back on the highlight reel. As Reynolds swings it round to Angale. Her shot doesn't go. And it's Pierre with the rebound. Pass again picked off by Sporting. And knocked out of bounds. But last touch, KPA. So Sporting will get the ball back. So we've got a substitution for Sporting. Yassine Diop and Reem Moussa checking in. Sierra Dillard and Asra Bakar heading to the bench. It's Rahan next, the long two. A 30-point lead here for Sporting. KPA need to dig deep, cut into this lead as the pass goes into Ocot. That's too strong. But offensive rebound is saved in. And KPA get another chance here as Reynolds, with a tough shot as she's doubled, gets her own rebound and puts it back. Diop, her shot's no good. Offensive board, but into the hands of Ocot. And a foul call there. I think Sporting may have been looking for the charge call. It is a foul call. That is against Yassine Diop, and it will be two free throws to Selena Okumu. And Okumu, one of the players playing last year for KPA in the Champions Cup. And another experienced player on an Afro basket in 2021. But she can't get the second to go. Musa. Three is up, and that is good for Nur Al Abdurraleem. Three pointers raining down here in Alexandria. This foul is called on K KPA, and Sporting get the ball back. Vanda checking in and Akumu heading to the bench for KPA. Sporting just looking to increase the lead here even further. Musa. Kicks it out. Ahmed with the offensive board and gets that to go. And these second chance points, Sporting just doing so well underneath the basket. Able to get into position, not only get the rebound, but put the ball back in the hoop. As Ocot's pass over to Wangale is picked off. And again, Sporting just forcing the turnovers. They have been relentless so far.
Pierre pulls it down for KPA. Levandwa round to Pierre. Pierre's threes up. And that's too strong. KPA really struggling from behind the three-point line today. Musa hands it off. Shot doesn't go. Reynolds pass inside to Ocott. Nice finish underneath the basket. Sporting with another three. That one doesn't drop. Pierre hands it off. And Reynolds finishes underneath the basket. And just like that, Sporting answer right at the other end. And if you're KPA here, you need to, to probably put the, the score out of your minds a little bit. Just chip into this lead. Just keep working away as Reynolds passes over to Pierre for the long two. And that's short. They get another chance as Reynolds, her shot doesn't go. Musa, great pass. Rahan finishing and Musa leading the tournament in assists per game with 10 so far. She's such a great floor general to have out there. She can see where her teammates are supposed to be, where they are, and she can get the ball to them as Reynolds passes into Oka underneath the basket. One Gale hits from behind the arc, and that is KPA's first three of the game. And hopefully that's going to give them some confidence. When you see that shot go down, feel them drop in, and that's all it takes sometimes to go on a bit of a run here. The foul is called on KPA. Apologies. No, that foul is on KPA. So we have a substitution. Bannister and Samaseku, along with Onyango, checking in for KPA. Balls in and it's Musa. Shots up. Doesn't go. And you see here, Sporting putting on the full court defence, putting on the pressure as KPI managed to get that to go underneath the basket. Musa thought about the three, passes it off. Just knocked out. Bit of a miscommunication there. As KPA looks to come back on the attack. Samaseku is nearly picked off by Musa. Reynolds looked to get it inside and called for the carry. Sporting just putting the pressure on. It can force you into some to maybe overthink things. And they've done a good job of forcing the turnover as they lead at 53 to 26 here in the second quarter. But just under two minutes 50 to play. And underneath the basket. Sporting are fouled and are gonna head to the free throw line. So Abderalim shooting two. She's been averaging six points per game, 5.3 rebounds so far in this tournament. 
grabbing three offensive boards. And again, something that's so crucial in competitions like this as the second free throw doesn't go. And Bannister stops, turns round. Shot doesn't go. Musa with a great pass underneath the basket. Gets it back. Thought about the three. Hands it off underneath. And Abder Alim just finishes. And Reem Musa putting on a passing show in today's game. She's got seven in the game so far. When you have a player like that, she has no points. But she is impacting the game as she does. Setting things up for her teammates. Such a high, high basketball IQ player. And seven assists in the first half already. So the last game of the group stages being played here today. There's a rest day on Saturday and then on Sunday it will be the quarter-finals and the classification games followed by the semi-finals on Monday and the finals on Tuesday where the champion will be crowned. And Sporting looking to defend their title. Looking to be one of the... They want to be the fourth team to win a second successive continental title. It's a tough ask to defend when you're the team that's won. You've got the target on her back and other teams want to try and take you down. But they are making a statement so far in today's game against KPA. As that three goes for KPA and Sam Aseku. Rahan. Diop. Turns. Musa behind the arc. Diop driving the baseline. And it's going to be a step out of bounds. And Sporting turn the ball over and KPA get it back. Yango, her layup won't fall. And it's Musa for Sporting. Passes outside, and the three is good again for Sporting. They are getting some amazing looks, shooting 50% from three. Everything is going down for them. Samaseku, round to Bannister. Cather kicks it out, long two, that one's good. And that's a much needed basket for KPA. Just over a minute to play here in the second quarter. And Onyango blocks that shot. As Bannister coming down the court and Onyango just lays it in. Quick four point run for KPA here. Can get some momentum going into half time. That's going to make them feel good going into the locker room. Samaseku nearly loses it, keeps control, tries the three, doesn't hit. Of shot doesn't fall as KPA run out of time and that will do it for the end of the first half Sporting 59 KPA 33
the dominant first half from Sporting. They came out firing. They have knocked down 11 of 23 three-pointers. Destiny Pitts hitting five of six on her way to 15 points in just nine and a half minutes of play. And Fatou Diagne, she has eight points, five rebounds and an assist. And Sierra Dillard also on eight points with seven assists in the game so far. Reem Musa, eight assists as well for her. Sporting doing a fantastic job sharing the ball around. And that ball movement, as you can see, getting those looks from behind the three-point line. And they are dropping for them today. KPA struggling a bit from behind the arc, just two of 14. And they have been led by Rita Onyango. Ten points, seven rebounds for her and an assist. Medina Ocott with six points, seven rebounds. And Victoria Reynolds, six points, three rebounds and four assists so far. So we are going to take a quick break for half time. Make sure to stay tuned to the Fever Basketball YouTube channel as we'll be back for the second half very shortly.
Welcome back in to the final game of the group stage in the FIBA Africa Women's Basketball League. We're just getting ready for the second half between Alexandria Sporting Club and Kenya Port Authority. Sporting with a huge 59-33 lead here as we head into the third quarter. They have been dominant so far in the game. Hitting whatever they want from behind the arc. 11 of 23, shooting 47%. Destiny Pitts has hit five of six. She has been incredible for Sporting. So KP8 looking to come back with an answer here in the second half. The winner of this game will top Group A as teams head into the tournament rounds. The knockouts start on Sunday. And we are back underway. It will be KP8 with the first possession as Wangale passes off. Ocott just loses it on the baseline to Sporting. A chance to open their account here in the second half. Dillard moving the ball round. Sporting shot doesn't go. KP8 can't save that one, so Sporting will get it back. <laughs> Dillard on the end line. Gets it in and floater, no good. But Diagne is there for the rebound. Can't get that one to go. It looks like Ocott has taken a hard fall. The team, Greta Pasaf will just check she's doing okay. And we hope that's nothing too serious. Such an exciting young player. Made a real, real impact in the tournament so far. Player with so much potential. Having played for Kenya at the Commonwealth Games in 3x3 back in Birmingham in 2022, last year in the United Kingdom. Also representing the Team World at the Nike Hoop Summit earlier this year against the team at USA's under 19 squad. So many accolades, so young, and it looks like. She may have a bit of an ankle injury here as she's helped off the court. I hope that's nothing too serious. And we'll see her back on court soon. And without her inside KPA. And they need to try and fill that gap as Reynolds double teamed passes it off. Shot doesn't go. But Akumu with the offensive board. That three is good. Mangale with a good start here in the second half for KPA. They struggled from behind the three-point line early on in the first half. So if they can get something flowing, get those shots falling here in the second, close that gap, you now anything can happen. Reynolds inside. Ball's knocked out. It's KP8 possession. And great to see so many people watching this game. A lot of support from Rwanda. Lots of people watching in Rwanda. I'm sure we've been enjoying watching REG so far this tournament. They have been an exciting team to watch. Tiffany Mitchell and Nia Cloudon representing the WNBA. Rwanda. And I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of them throughout this tournament. We head into the knockout stages in a couple of days' time. Reynolds using the screen, her three's up, and that's just off the front of the rim. Still passes underneath the basket. And that will be a foul on KPA. Amaya 
He's at the line for two. First shot is good. I'll get him there. MVP of the competition in 2022 when she averaged 13.3 points per game, 8.2 rebounds. Captain of the team. And such a crucial player for this sporting squad as Reynolds breaks free, drives inside but kicks it out, gets the ball back. Comes up against Diagne, has to pass it out and it's picked off by Dillard. doesn't fall an offensive board for Sporting again they have been so good at that in today's game Hamed her three is good and picking up where they left off in the first half Sporting being absolutely dominant from three KPA can't answer on that one and Diagne pulls the rebound down She's got eight rebounds along with her eight points in the game. Dillard driving to the basket, floater rolls off the front of the rim. Diagne with the rebound and hands it over to. Amir. Hamed again for three. That doesn't go. Hamed chases down the rebound. Can't keep it inside, but you love to see the hustle. Chasing after every ball. Setting the tone for the team. That's what you want to see from your captain. Reynolds weaves round, gets that tough shot to go. She's going to go to the free throw line. And a chance at a three point play. That takes her to 10 points in the game so far. That foul on Bakar. She can't get the free throw to go, but offensive board. Putback's no good, kicks it out. And KPA with a chance to reset here as Wungale goes against Dillard. Driving to the hoop, kicks it out, and a miscommunication on the pass. They send the ball back the way of Sporting. Spins, tries to find her way to the basket. She's blocked. Picked up by Onyango as Wangale gets it over to Reynolds. Transition three doesn't go, but Onyango with the rebound. And Wangale pass underneath the basket. Reverse doesn't go, but there's contact. And that will send KPA back to the line. And KPA outscoring Sporting. Seven to five here in this third quarter. And Sporting taking the second quarter 20 to 19. It was just that dominant first quarter from Sporting 39 to 14 that has put KPA in a bit of a hole that they need to climb out of as they are down 24 here in the third. Just over 5.51 to play as the free throw just doesn't get the roll. Dillard with a pass through the legs over to Amir can't get that to fall again that's one of the passes that you want to see the player finish on the other end off because it's so fun to see you want to see it on the highlight tape back Mangale pass in the side and Samaseki finishes apologies that was a pass
Dillard finds space, kicks it out. Three is up and nothing but net. Haga Amer with another three for Sporting. Dillard is doing a fantastic job. You can see her, she drives the lane, draws the defenders into her, passes the ball out to behind the three-point line as there's someone there waiting. Reynolds against Dillard. Long two bounces out. Tumu fighting for the rebound. And it's into the hands of Wangale as a foul is called. And that will be on Gina Hamed. Five point lead here for Sporting in the third quarter. As you see Abdelaim check in for Sporting, Mavandwa for KPA. Mavandwa round to Wangale. Three is good off the glass and in. KPA needed that one. Dillard again driving to the basket, tough shot off the glass. And KPA going one on two here as Reynolds kicks it round. Shots no good. But good pace from KPA here, picking up the turnovers. I think Sporting looking for the travel call there. But it is a blocking foul. And that will be on at Sierra Dillard. As we see Samaseku and Bannister coming into the game for KPA. board is results in a shot but no score this time for KPA it's Anna, it looks like she just took a bit of a hit on that possession we'll walk it off it be Destiny Pitts to inbound she was on fire in the first half hitting five from behind the arc Dillard driving to the basket, swings it round, three is up and nothing but net. Haga Amer with another three. Dillard with a nice pass out there to the top of the arc. And Sporting cannot be stopped from three. Dillard powering down the court. Stepping through all the way to the basket, draws the contact and gets the foul. Finishing under pressure, Sierra Dillard, 10 points in the game so far and 10 assists. Heading to the stripe for two, for one, sorry. She made the two, she made the basket, she did the difficult work. And now she's got a chance for a three-point play the old-fashioned way. Doesn't go. But she gets the interception and puts it back in. A quick four points for Sierra Dillard. And that takes her to 12. And KPA want a timeout as Sporting stretch the lead here. 74-45 here in the third quarter. Absolute dominance from the three-point line. 
14 of 30, shooting 46%. With seven players getting involved in the three-point action. Destiny Pitts, though, five of six from three. A huge 15 points. But leading the way for Sporting, it is Hagar Amer. 16 points and 11 rebounds. A double-double for her as she continues her impressive tournament. For KPA... Victoria Reynolds, 10 points, 4 rebounds and 4 assists. And Rita Onyango, 10 points and 12 rebounds. And KPA actually out-rebounding Sporting, 43 to 39. They're doing a good job on the boards. They're just not able to finish those putbacks. And they can't compete with the three-point shooting of Sporting. As KPA hitting just four. So they need to try and close down that look from three that Sporting are getting. And a good job there as KPA intercepts it. That shot doesn't go. And Ahmed with the long pass over. As Pitts steps back for three, can't get that one to go. A nice ball movement there as Okoth finishes underneath the basket. The extra pass gave her the space to drive the lane and put it in. Pitts. Another three drops for Sporting. Nohan Ahmed getting in on the three point action. Bannister, she tries to answer and can't. And if you're KPA here, you maybe want to try and look to go inside. Maybe not fighting fire with fire. Sporting are not missing from three, but you don't need to try and match them with that. You can play your own game, play the game that got you here. Try and get those inside looks because they are able to finish underneath the basket. As we see Yvonne Okello checking in. Rita Onyango for KPA. the ball just getting cleaned up on the sidelines making sure it's all good to go before Hilda Lavandwa takes the two free throws for KPA and Lavandwa played at the 3x3 Africa Cup this year a very experienced player in Kenya Winning winners of the 3x3 Africa Cup. This one, Gale hit a buzzer beater to beat Egypt in the final. Three players from that team on this squad. They look to get the ball up the court. Sama Seku going against Dillard. Passes it round. Long two pops in and out. That's so unlucky for KPA. They're doing the hard work and the shot just isn't falling. Dillard kicks it out, step back three is up, bounces out. Samaseku against Pitts, scoop layup, falls in. Just 32 seconds to play here in the third quarter. The 
referees are just discussing on the sideline. Let's take a look at the monitor. So thank you again to everyone joining us here on the FIBA Basketball YouTube channel. This last group game before we head into the tournament rounds on Sunday. Tomorrow will be a rest day for the players. It's been a tough week. Games starting on Monday, four games played. The team so far, this is the fourth game for KPA and Sporting. like and subscribe to the FIBA Basketball YouTube channel. You can follow the action throughout the tournament. Support your teams and check out all of the action. And some knockout stages kick off on Sunday. The referees here just determining what they saw, checking out the replay on the monitor. That sporter may have been looking for the foul call. Great to see the fans out in support of their hometown team in Alexandria. A fantastic venue. And the city putting on a great showcase of basketball in this competition. So the conclusion is, it is an unsportsmanlike foul call. And that is on Bannister, so two free throws to Sporting. And it's Amer with the free throws. Second one doesn't go. And as it is an unsportsmanlike foul, Sporting will retain possession here. Just over 30 seconds to play in the third. Ahmed passes inside. It's knocked away and KPA come up with it. Ball's loose. Dillard picks it up. Whistle on the floor. As a turnover is called. Be on Norhan Ahmed with six seconds to play. So KPA really need to kind of get something off very quickly. A couple of dribbles. The shot needs to go up, and they can't get it off in time. So at the end of the third quarter, Sporting continuing. The three-point barrage that we have seen throughout the game as they lead 80 to 49 over KPA, knocking down 15 threes in the game. And leading the way. Haga Amer, 17 points and 13 rebounds in just 20 minutes of play. She's hit three from behind the arc. Destiny Pitts, 15 points on five of seven three-point shooting. She's not taken a two. All her shots have been threes. And she is showing exactly why she is first in three-point percentage in this tournament. She hit six of nine earlier this week against CNSS. Can she beat that? Can she get six or more today? See what she can do in the fourth quarter. A player that graduated from Texas A&M last year and won the SEC sixth woman of the year after leading the conference in three-point field goal percentage. She is a shooter. She is a lights-out shooter. And you cannot leave her alone behind the arc. Give her a little bit of daylight. She's going to knock it down and make you pay. So 
leading the way for KPA. It is Victoria Reynolds on 10 points with four rebounds and four assists. And Rita Onyango, 10 points and 12 rebounds for her. These teams get ready to come back on court for the fourth quarter. Sporting with the first possession. Dillard, she finds that way to the basket through the lane. She's so crafty, able to use that space. She's either going to drag to the basket and take the shot herself or kick it out as she did then. Didn't pay off for Sporting on that chance. But she's made it work so many times throughout the game. Dillard going in for the steal is called for the foul. KPA sideline ball. Reynolds on the inbound. Nice screen from O'Koth. Mongale gets it. Long two, doesn't go. The Agne inside, tough shot underneath the basket. Able to finish. Okumu nearly loses it, keeps control. Hits the right handed layup. It's Dillard for Sporting. Again, looking to drive that lane. She's finding so much space to get to the basket as she lays it in. That takes her to 16. Without O'Cott inside for KPA. Sporting finding it really easy to get to the basket. Reynolds at the other end finishes and is going to head to the free throw line. Victoria Reynolds with 12 points in the game so far. As that foul is on Nadine Rahan. And Reynolds completes the three point play. Diagne, nice pass over to Dillard who finishes with the left hand and again she's finding a way to get to the basket she's getting to the basket herself if she's drawing the defense she's kicking it out to her teammates and creating shots such a valuable player for this team as Reynolds turns and spins and gets that to go Pass inside to Diagne. Fadeaway is good. And that last shot takes Diagne to 12, along with nine rebounds. Very close to a double double. She's hit six of eight from the field. A foul called there on Nohan Ahmed. Line ball for KPA. Wangale turns and fires the three. That's too strong. KPA put up another three. Yes, that one doesn't go for Reynolds. The sporting with a commanding lead here in the fourth quarter. 
Because Nohan Ahmed checks out and Yassine Diop subs into the game for Sporting. Dillard with a crossover, kicks it out, pits his three, is good! Destiny Pitts cannot miss from three. She's hit six. 18 points for her in the game. Wangale. Trying to break inside, but Diagne's there. Passing to Reynolds is kicked. And it's sporting ball. And you see the difficulty KPA are having when Diagne draws herself out. She's putting the pressure on, has that height advantage and makes it so difficult for KPA to get into the lane. As Dillard once again breaks through and drives to the basket. Reynolds, her three rolls out. KPA with an offensive rebound to put it back in. Takes on Yango to 12. Diagne. Inside, gets it back. Diagne. Shot's no good. The pressure there from KPA, too much on that shot. As Wangale drives to the basket against Pitts, hands it off underneath. We've got a whistle on the floor. And Sierra Dillard checks out of the game. She has been fantastic. A huge game from her for Sporting. As Reem Musa checks back in. Hilda Lavangla for KPA. Okoff hitting the first free throw. Second one bounces out, and it's Diagne that comes up with it. Musa long pass over underneath the basket. Another whistle. Sporting. Gonna head back to the free throw line. As you've seen, Diop shoots two. Nyango called for the foul there. And Antoinette Bannister checking in for KPA. And you've seen Diop at the line. Making an African club competition debut at this tournament. Playing for the Senegal national team at Afrobasket in 2023 this summer. Knocks down the second free throw. Very talented point guard. He played in Spain, France, Russia, played around the world. Great to see it. Playing for Sporting this season. A whistle on the play. As Yango checks out. Diana Pierre in for KPA. Turn over there as Pitts comes up with it. Passes over. Layup doesn't fall. And KPA just unable to get the shots to drop here in the third quarter. Spotting out scoring them 14 to 10. And three is off the front of the rim. KPA come up with it. Three is no good, but offensive rebound and puts it back in for Belinda Okoth. So 
takes her to seven points along with seven rebounds. Musa's pass is knocked out and it was last touch. Sporting so KPA with the ball. And Sporting have been dominant from the tip off in this game. First Egyptian team to be crowned FIBA Africa Champions Cup winners last year in Mozambique. And they're looking to retain their title at the inaugural FIBA Africa Women's Basketball League this week. Lisa passes out, that three doesn't go. 30 point lead here with just under five to play in the fourth quarter. Pierre. And it's Okoth that draws the foul. She's going to go back to the free throw line. That foul is on Nadine Rahan. Uh, Yusuf checks into the game for Sporting alongside Norella Abderalim. <laughs> Okoth hits the first free throw. One doesn't get the friendly roll and it's back with Sporting. Salim has it stripped. And turnover Sporting get the ball back and they have been doing such a good job pressuring KPA all game long. Forcing them into those turnovers and spotting them, capitalising at the other end. That makes such a difference. You can force the turnovers, but if you don't score points off it, you aren't going to be in a position to win. But they are doing that and they are doing it very, very well throughout this game. Okay, at the other end. Here in the fourth quarter, dropping points to KPA. Musa with a step back, gets that to go. Sierra Dillard enjoying herself on the bench there, watching on, watching her teammates on court. Sam Aseku is fouled on that drive. Nurela Abdelim gets called for the foul. Aminata Samaseku. First shot doesn't go. A young player, someone definitely to keep an eye on. See how her career progresses. Shot doesn't go, but she gets her own offensive rebound. And the long two is good on the second attempt. And it's Gorton moving the ball well, but it's picked off there. Samaseku can't finish the layup, but gets the ball back on the baseline, kicks it round. Bannister's there. Lavandwa with a big three for KPA. Maybe later in the game than they would have liked. But everything in this tournament is about experience. You can use what you learn in this game as you take it into the knockout stages. It gives you a chance to watch the game take back, review, adjust. 
see what you might need to tweak going into the next games when it's win or go home Inbound for Sporting. The Ops 2 doesn't go. Another offensive board though. Musa swings it round. The Op tries a three. Off the iron. And another offensive board. And again, that is what Sporting have been doing so well. Reem Musa here resetting. Crossover. Short shot. And pass inside as Abdelim finishes underneath the basket and Reem Musa just a fantastic playmaker 10 assists in the game that hesitation as she passes through gets her teammates into the right positions knows exactly where they're going to be there's a handoff there Pierre round to Bannister she's going to try the three knocks that one down and things falling for KPA here in the fourth quarter a little bit too late they are outscoring Sporting 25 to 20. And Sporting hits a hundred. Back into the hands of Diop. And Musa is going to reset. And another great pass underneath the basket and make it a hundred and two. Just under 30 seconds to go here as the clock runs down. And Sporting still keeping up the pressure, not letting up for a second. They want to defend their title, they want to get back to the final and take home their winner's cup. Vandwer, three is good, bounces out of the net. Closes the gap, but a bit too late for KPA. As Reem Musa is going to dribble things out here. As the fourth quarter clock winds down. So at the end of the game, it is a huge win for Sporting. A dominant performance from the tip. 102 to 77 over KPA. They were led by Sierra Dillard. A huge 20 points from her. along with 12 assists and three rebounds and six steals in 25 minutes of play. She was huge for Sporting. Destiny Pitts hitting six three-pointers on her way to 18 points, along with a rebound and a couple of assists. And Fatou Diagne, 14 points and 11 rebounds. A double-double for her. And Captain Haga Amer. 17 points and 13 rebounds, five of them offensive. She was huge in this game, also hitting three of four from behind the arc. Sporting finishing on 16 of 38, three-point shooting, 42%. They were knocking everything down that they wanted and came out firing from the tip. And for KPA, they were led by Victoria Reynolds, 15 points for her, five rebounds and four assists. And Rita Onyango, 12 points, 14 rebounds and a couple of assists for her. Belinda Okoff dropping in 10 points and eight rebounds. And KPA struggling since they lost Medina Okoff that injury earlier on she finished with six points seven rebounds you hope she's going to be good to go when the teams reach the knockout stages on Sunday as such an important player for this team you want to see her back on court so make sure to tune in on Sunday to the FIBA basketball YouTube channel when the quarterfinals tip off and the classification games will be the first games of the day you don't want to miss a minute of the action. It's been non-stop excitement here in this tournament. At the FIBA Africa Women's Basketball League. So 
so make sure to stay tuned. Thank you to everyone who has joined us watching live. All the support. Lots of fans around the world watching. Lots of support from Rwanda. They're going to be keeping an eye on our EG as they progress through the tournament. So a big thank you to the broadcast crew and all the commentators on today's game. And all the games throughout today. That concludes the group stages of the FIBA Africa Women's Basketball League. And it is Sporting that take the top spot in Group A. So the final score from Alexandria. It is Sporting 102 and KPA 77. From myself, Caroline Bullock, thank you for joining us. Make sure